This is a model of a 15th century caravel. It was made by Glenn Passow with a layer base method. This method is when the builder cuts mainly thin sheets of wood to a specific design that is drawn out on a piece of paper. 25 layers for this model. And then when you put them together, you get the shape. Next, you paint it and add mask, rigging, sails, railings, and barrels. After this, you do extensive staining and varnish to finish it. Then you dry it out for a day and you are all done. The 15th century was a time when lots of caravel style ships could be found in the vast seas of the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. These average sized ships were used to be cargo carriers, warships, patrol or dispatch boats, and pirate ships. The earliest time that we have evidence of caravels being existed was on the Iberian Peninsula in the 13th century. Caravels were mainly used as fishing ships. Prince Henry the Navigator began exploring the West African coastline using his home in Sagres as his navigational headquarters. Portuguese sailors discovered that the regular merchantman couldn't sail effectively in the winds and currents while going along the coastline. So Prince Henry, along with his builders, decided to adapt the caravel for further exploration and trade. These ships were built in Lagos, Portugal. Portuguese shipbuilders built two and three masted ships without a front cabin and a low back cabin. The hull was designed to have a round bottom with lots of room for cargo, which would be very helpful for carrying items for trade. As the ship sailed around the coast, it would be rigged with a lateen sail to make tacking easy. Many captains would change the sail to squares for the open water and to add speed. Caravels weighed from 50 to 200 tons and were inexpensive to rig, inexpensive to man, and they were able to carry lots of cargo. Caravels were favored for their speed and maneuverability, particularly along the inlets and streams in Africa and the New World.